Right, still the 5th of uh, July 2024, and I'm getting some threats outside. But where the threats are actually coming from is the same building where I heard strange noises uh, from female children and adults uh, the previous night. So I'm not happy about this. Um, obviously, I'm still feeling very ill because I've got burning. I've had intense burning all day. Um, there's been a few gun sounds, and also what's been said outside is sick cunt bash you in, Justin. You're having a break in. I'm gonna fucking knife him. I'm gonna fucking inject the bastard with HIV. And I'm gonna break all his fucking legs. All because the possibility that he heard me at the window smoking yesterday and he doesn't want to, to be known as doing strange things the night before it's just a possibility it might not be the same person but it's from the same building so there's been a lot of threats a lot of Sadie business um, Stephanie's been mentioned um, yeah it's been a pretty nasty one to be fair um, going to be shot has been said a few times um, more out of sort of allegations the allegations when it comes to Sadie in particular um, it's flying off the handle at the moment um, but there is one thing that hasn't occurred which surprises me there hasn't been a single loud bike tied to an erection this evening which is extremely rare however I've not had an erection have I but um, anyway that's the first load of problems to start tomorrow bash your head in rape the child prostitute said smash you in bash your fucking head off said yeah ripping you to pieces just said rape to Sadie right sick cunt this cunt fucking smash the bastard raped her said pedophile said sick said molested Sadie just said take his fucking life apart sneaky fucking child rape is being stabbed said Dan and Scott are gonna have him ambulance smash all his fucking teeth out not fucking saying anything he raped her his name's Seven said gonna smash his fucking head in kick his fucking head around like a rugby ball losing his fucking life said fried a cunt said dangerous mugger Justin said or dangerous fucker said your jungle Justin having a break in said there's been several threats that have been occurring in the last 12 months if that there seems to be making the suggestion that uh, there's a few people that could be involved in causing some trouble. It could be my ex-mugger, Daniel Morgan. It could possibly be Alex Lunnis. And it could possibly be uh, Kimberly Cox, his relatives that have connections with um, Dorchester and Bridgewater, which I only discovered recently and this person wants me smashed in on the railway track at Highbridge and it's a person that was pretending to be a single woman um, in April of 2022 however when I came back to Yeovil after visiting and only being smashed out with a knife I was told by a couple of rough people that this person is called Scott which is a name he did actually give me and he said he's a very dangerous person and not to get involved and to stay away from him and that he will cause trouble for you so and that's the end of that basically but the threat regarding that name has been incre increasing in the last year and a half right so the time in loud bikes to erections they've hit 13 loud bikes time to an itchy bum hole and erection after midnight it's now 16 minutes past she's 39 sick cunt child rapist said Intense burning occurs and die while you are sitting there, child rapist said. Burn you bastard, nothing he can do about it. Ha 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 said. Skin cancer should have stayed at Burnham on Sea said, which is the place I used to live before I moved to Yeovil. Sick cunt just gonna absolutely smash you out said. Fucking sick said. Smash you in HIV you sick cunt banged by neighbour coming back to the upstairs flat. What a rapist, child molester, just you gotta go, said. Justin, you're going. You try blowing the place up with diesel, said. That's not true. Justin, you're supposed to wear a rubber johnny, said. Well, when I was sexually abused as a child, there was no rubber johnny. At that time, 
and a rubber johnny in case people are so thick that they don't know the difference between hardcore sex and safe sex. A rubber johnny is a condom which you wear if you're having safe sex. If you're having hardcore sex, then you don't wear a condom, but obviously people are thick and they don't know that today. Either way, I'm not happy with the uh, suggestion of the threat. The next thing that's been said is just in your going because you're trying to blow the place up with diesel, which is a load of bullshit. Smash you with HIV, said, age just said, and walking out is allowed by time to an erection. Time one light out, fart smell round. Yeah, shit, I'm sat around ten times loud bike, a nine times loud bike to itchy bum hole and erection. Ten times loud bike time to an erection. Um, itchy bum hole. Um, six sexual car, great sexual. Black six with red. It's broken the record because I'm down here trying to cross. 700 cars roughly, uh, 92% set up, struggling to get across the road. He wicks lorry and Kex and Dad uh, very good. My penis shoots up so bike timed, motorbike timed, bike timed, motorbike timed, two mo- more motorbikes timed, bike timed, and to a itchy old bumhole. Four started cars, and another hundred cars trying to cross, so that's roughly about, um, how much, I was trying to work out, about 800 cars in total, 90% still to every single car on the road, to a suggestion of black and blue sexual, knife shaped, gun shaped, or whatever. This is really fucking heavy action, it's the heaviest I've known that road. For a long time. In actual fact, nearly every day lately, they seem to be hammering the setups to near enough record breaking them out of setups. They've been doing it for the last month or so. About 40 to 50 texts. I love texts, I'm on texts. Um, <coughs> black mixed with red cars. Um, four sound calls onto the bus, and uh, obviously it's a blue sky sunny day. You're looking at another 50 texts in around just a couple of minutes. 10 minutes if that. Right, so we're looking at another 400 cars of black and blue set grey white. They've included a gun looking, they've included a rent to kill, they've included a night point van, and uh, also the night attack van uh, being timed at around about. Now it's rapid texting, so there's been about another 30 texts in the matter of just about two minutes. I mean, I don't need this, but I've been burning from uh, radiation at my place and the other, other fucking problems, but, you know, I'm under a fucking curse. Just before I left, the burning went intense again. The problem is, Peter Ritchie is doing this. He doesn't realise how dangerous it is and how it's affected me. I had to stay at my dad's because of this. Go back to, um, uh, when was it? Um, the beginning, first couple of days of February. And, uh, this is with ten minute periods. And, uh, when I went there, I didn't experience it at all for six weeks. And when I came back, it started again. But I just had to put up with that. There's nothing I could do because the council can't move me. Because they have to get rid of the sort of teenage single mothers out first and all the people that are on priority before they can deal with anyone else before moving them on to a different place. I mean, I had to camp before I moved to that place. I shouldn't even be at that place I'm living at now. It's because of the eye problem and burning and stinging from eye problems at my old place. Not in my bad place anyway, so, you know, because it couldn't do nothing, because uh, there's no law on people using energy weapons and stuff like that, so that's why I'm there. While on the bus, I've just noticed something, that I've not seen this before ever, is someone's using some form of light, but it's turning the room black rather than white, you know, sort of having a effect where it's causing the room to turn black or dark by some form of a light, which is being done in like a manual way where they're causing it to go dark. How the heck does that occur? We're going text frenzy today. There's been another, what, 100 texts in a matter of just a few minutes, five minutes. Right, I'm coughing my foot into my face, walking into the garage shop. What's a teenage woman doing driving a car when she looks at me like I'm a sick piece of shit while going out of the garage? And looking as if I'm sick, as if she's just applying she's a child. Well, she's not old enough to drive a car, is she? Right, so I've just been to the museum, and I just heard a couple of old people speaking in conversation, and it appears that that new estate that's being built is turning out to be a slum and a rough area, and it's exactly the same place that Homefinder have been advertising on their council register for people to move into. 
Right, I wasn't in a very happy mood last night, but I did manage to keep my cool because I was drinking when I found out, and usually when I'm drinking, I'm usually a bit calmer over the situation. And it was near enough where I had, um, was on the second and a half can at that time. Well, I've discovered that the CDs that I've bought and the CDs that I have at my place, all the recent ones that I got, because, uh, signals in the air has messed up the ones I've had in the past where well, those are messed up as well so when I'm mentioning this burning putting two and two together is a possibility that some form of energy weapon could be used it's not guaranteed but um yeah I was bloody fuming last night but obviously like I said I, I, I sort of woke up through the night I, was, I struggled to fall asleep I didn't want to lose my temper but I was just thinking to myself that's basically all my music down the drain so the only music I got now is uh, basically on USB and hard drives. Anything that's on CD or anything like that has been destroyed by these signals in the air, whatever's causing it. Right, so I've got this issue again where the sun's out, but at the same time it's raining. They seem to want to keep that sun out where I go when it's raining. Sometimes it causes a rainbow effect, but uh, this has been going on about 50 plus times since the beginning of April, or roughly about the 5th, where they're causing the rain to occur while it's sunny at the same time. Oh, a teenager pushing a buggy up me, a push chair, hang on. Right, I couldn't say anything about that because quite simply, that girl is basically a child where she's actually the single mother because I heard her speaking on the phone. She's 14 years of age and she is a parent of a child, yes. Well, I'm known as a sick cunt if I don't go with anyone over the age of 43 and I'm coming up the age of 44 and I've not had sex in my whole life apart from being sexually abused as a child. And I'm known as a sick cunt. So Christ has really fucking fallen. However, the Bible clearly states that, that if you've been in a sexual relationship and you've made a woman pregnant, you stay with that woman for the rest of your life. And if you get divorced, that woman is not to remarry another man or have sex with another man. So it doesn't matter what time in her life she's been made pregnant or how, how many times she's had sex or whatever, if she's a single mother, whether she was a single mother when she was 60, or whether she was a single mother when she was a teenager, even if those kids are grown up and no longer living with her, you do not go with someone who is a single mother if that person's been in a sexual relationship with a man and been made a single mother. You find someone clean, you find someone fresh, and you find someone that's not a single parent or never been a single parent. But the problem I have is everyone's nailing me as a sick cunt if I don't go with a single parent, which is uh, going against God's Bible and it's also going against me. I couldn't say anything back there, but what I wanted to say is that lady was on a phone as she was passing me. It turns out she's only 14 and it turns out she is actually a single mother of the baby that she's pushing in her push chair. Well, I'm told I'm a sick cunt if I don't go with anyone over the age of 40, because I'm 43 coming at 44. But take into account I've been sexually abused as a child by people 20 years younger than my age today. And I'm being told I'm a sick cunt if I look at anyone who's female that's uh, just 10 years younger than me. So what's going on? Why is everybody fucking turning nasty? Going to the Bible, the Holy Bible, God states that... If you've made a woman pregnant, you stay with that woman for the rest of your life. And if that woman divorces that man or splits up, that woman is not to have sex or go in another relationship with another man. So, it doesn't matter what stage of her life she was made pregnant or has been a single mother. If she's been made a single mother, she is not to go with another man whatsoever. And I agree with that because I don't want a single mother anyway. Why should I have someone's mistake being put onto me and telling me to go with a stale piece of shit or a used woman that's fucking dirty as fuck that's possibly got HIV and shagged thousands of my fucking enemies, same the same people that give me fucking threats while fucking that lady when she's in her sexual years why they get their um, feelings out where they can fucking really enjoy the sex of her younger years and then leave me with the old pizza face that looks like sick off the fucking floor as um, a piece of fucking revenge to tell me that you're a sick cunt and all you're getting is a fucking piece of shit off the fucking floor. And also, just to make things worse, even Christian female young ladies tell me I'm a sick cunt or they boast about their 
fucking baby in their profile pictures or boasting with congratulations all over their Facebook channel or whatever else. Now this is a fucking insult, especially when I've not had sex in my whole life apart from being sexually abused as a child and being stopped from getting a female. That means that um, I've had my wrist cut. It means that I've been sexually abused for another life. Because going back to when I had a clairvoyant reading, past life clairvoyant reading, I was a female in my last life and I was a pretty lady who died tragically in my early 20s and the clairvoyant believes I was murdered. Um, I didn't have a boyfriend in my previous life and I was sexually abused as a child and I was stopped from getting anyone. Well this life's turned out the same and what happens when I'm reborn as a baby in my next life? Jesus Christ is going to get a man to get his feelings out all over me to fuck the guts in and out of me while raping me like water jelly, nerve jelly on the floor being forced to be enjoyed, be sexually fucking vampirised and enjoyed to be sexually abused and then stopped from getting sex in my next life as well while playing about with me with poker sticks in the fireplace or as an alternative getting a deadly black mamba or a cobra or um, a crocodile to fucking bite my head off before I reach the age of getting sex in my next life. So how, so what do I do? Because I can't get a prostitute because they moan about age problems and they tell you that you're only supposed to go with people that you know in person and they won't even make friendship and most of them only give blowjobs and where a prostitute is supposed to give hardcore sex, today, or they don't even give that anymore, but they only give safe sex. Ever since the early 2000s, they only give safe sex, which is wearing a condom. Where a prostitute is supposed to give you hardcore sex. That's what a prostitute is. Anything below that is known as an escort, which uh, is safe sex, blowjobs, and what's the other one? Massages. But if you want hardcore sex, you need a prostitute. But because people are stupid today, you can't get a prostitute. And also, prostitutes are moaning about the age gap, telling you that you're a sick cunt if you don't have sex with negative attraction, or faces that look like they're putrid sick off the floor. So basically, you're being told to go with a fat type of woman, with misted out glasses, gizmo eyes, greasy black hair, and the appearance of shingles all across her skin, or warts, or what looks like red rashes all across her, ch her, cr her chest and being told to go with that type and the ones that boast in an unhygienic, boastful way with a sociable pose with that stupid single mother appearance posing with her lips and I'm being told to go with that type only. Every fucking female has been saying this, and yet they're sick bastards because they're single mothers under the age of 40. I'm told I'm a sick cunt if I don't go or have sex with someone over the age of 37 because I'm 43 coming up 44. If that's the case, why are these teenagers single fucking mothers? And why are these sick bastards in, these, in their 20s single mothers? And also, why are these sick bastards? bastards under the age of 37 single mothers and why does everyone who gives me threats threatening to smash me in to do me over to take my life away to knife me down to smash my fucking face off to bash my fucking head off to put me into a hospital bed to break my fucking arms and legs off to beat me to fucking death to inject me with hiv to knife me to the fucking floor, to smash me out, to nail me as a fucking rapist, to nail me as a fucking woman beater, a child rapist, and threatening to fucking shoot me dead. Yet they have had sex with someone under the age of 37, and they've made that person a single mother. So why are they starting on me, nailing me as a sick bastard, when I've had fuck all in my whole life, when it comes to a sexuality and females? You fucking answer that one. Either way, even the Christians do it. I've just been reported, actually, for making a movie. I filmed a lady and a girl coming out of the toilet while trying to film the radiator on the top balcony of a church, walking down to the bottom balcony to go to the spiral stairs. And in between there, you've got the, the, the toilets. And that's where the two came out. So I accidentally filmed them. And I said, all right, to the person. And because that person started a row, saying I'm going to get my fucking husband to bash you in to say that I'm a sick bastard because I was filming at that time, I decided to cut out that section and put it onto YouTube, which is on the internet, which is where everyone can view it. 
and uh, I got in trouble for it. And now they've reported me to the, um, not the police, but some organisation, uh, because it's a sexual offence, basically. And I'm not very happy with St John's Church in Yeovil doing this. And also, you've got to take into account is sexuality. 99.9% .9 of all problems in my life is down to sexuality. And everyone is stopping me get anyone. And as I age, it's only making me nastier and nastier because it's limit limiting my chances of getting sex with a younger aged person. Because I don't take to the old fogey type of attraction. I can't take to wrinkly skin and grey hair. And most people in my age group are basically just that. And the problem is, I'm going to get sexually abused again for a third life when I'm reborn again in my next life. No one's helping me. All they're telling me, or when I see the psychiatric doctor, is get a taste of your own fucking medicine, throw that down your fucking throat, and if you don't throw that down your fucking throat, you're going to be injected with a depot, which is going to fucking take your life, so we can fucking hit you off on medication. Just shut your fucking face, we don't give a fuck about you, we think you're a sick bastard. That's, that's your doctor, basically, or the people that work for the home treatment team, or whatever else. So basically, I'm just being born... To be fucking ripped to pieces, sexually abused, nailed as a sick cunt and a child rapist all my life. And then to be fucking shit on. And to be fucking put in a position where I'm basically in jeopardy. And I've even been threatened to be knifed. I've even had glass bottles smashed across my head. And I've also been thrown in the canal. And I've had the police trying to arrest me because people have made shit up about me. In the past to get me arrested for child rape or woman rape or whatever else at places and times of where I wasn't at when this allegations have been taking place and that includes Sadie Dando and Stephanie Jill. Now, I, you know, so what do I do? I've been violated, I've been shit on, so how the hell am I going to get sex if the only sex I can have is being sexually abused as a child while being nailed as a fucking rapist and sick cunt all my life. And as I get older and older, the younger generation are just nailing me as a sick bastard and getting violent at me. Or extremely nasty with me, threatening to bash me to fucking pieces, hollering, shouting their fucking heads off in full raging temper because I've looked at a sexual woman under the age of 40. Yet they are the sick bastards that are making all these teenagers fucking pregnant. And then you've got to take into account Jesus Christ's children, if Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that is, have turned against me as well. I'm being nailed as a sick cunt. They've literally made it impossible for me to get sex full fucking stop. And this is why I've turned against God. But although Leviticus goes in favour of me, in the Bible, God's turned. The other thing I want to mention is 99.9% .9 of all these problems are due to sexuality. But there's one specific problem that isn't. And that's the burning from radiation or some form of signals that are occurring in the air. Whether it's energy weapons or whether it's something normal. You know, a problem with my body. But the problem is, when I was living at my old place, I was getting um, gritty, stinging eyes that were very dry and it felt like they were being forced open and outwards and sometimes felt like the eyes were being twisted like they're being screwed outwards um, and then when I took a picture of my eye it looked like the eye was swollen like it was popping out almost well this is the reason I had to move to Yeovil so in some ways these energy weapons if it is caused by that has forced me to move to Yeovil but the problem is, we got a similar occurrence that started in January of 2024 at my place. But in the beginning of February, I had to go down to my dad's for six weeks. And when I re returned from going to dad's, I was accused of rape in that area. And, that, and claiming that's the reason I went down there, which is not true. The reason I went down there is because burning was causing me to feel really, really ill with like a crushing pain inside the, the head and intense cat claw scratch mark type pains right across my body. Where again, when it comes to this sort of thing, it's not only messed up discs, wiped off hard drives, broken USB sticks and forced me to chuck out thousands of pounds of music, but it's caused me to lose my sort of whole music in general but um you know again it's sexuality is the reason that that was being done and sexuality is the reason it's being done at the moment so 
for sexuality is the cause of all fucking problems, and if I mention sexuality or anything at all that's regarding sexuality or wanting anything like that, everyone kick the fuck off and it turns out violent. And then it goes into eye problems burning, threats to smash me out, threats to knife me down and all the rest of it. Because they don't want me to have sex because they think I'm a sick bastard and a dangerous fucking pervert because I won't go with a specific school friend called Lisa Pike, which is basically very negative attraction in my opinion. So, basically, the best thing you can say here is God has fucking fallen. Finally, I just want to mention that when I was sexually abused as a child, they want to apply this with setups or suggestions, and on a regular basis they tie my look like to someone who sexually abused me as a child trying to get in an erection when I'm walking about in the street. Well, what they're saying is, is they're saying, because you didn't have an abortion, so when I was being sexually abused, it felt like your baby was coming out your uh, out your tummy. You know, you were forced to enjoy the sex, you know, of being sexually abused as a child. Because what's happened is the baby's gone back in while I was being fucking fucked about with as a child. And they're getting nasty about it. And because I won't go into labour and kick out my baby, they're making the suggestion with these setups, whoever's causing it, whether it's the CII, IA, the military, the Illuminati, the Empire, the police or whoever, they're making the suggestion, because I wouldn't get my baby out having sex by cracking the nut with someone who fucked about with me as a child, then they're going to rip me to fucking pieces and take my life apart because they think I'm the doorway to heaven, which is not true. So I need to mention that as well. Right, just before I end this recording completely, I just wanted to mention that 99.9% of all sexual or basic looking females, or females that I can just about fancy, every one of those has hated me right through my fucking whole life. There's under 10 females that are sexual looking in my whole life that have ever liked me. That, and that's only a bit. So that just says it all, doesn't it? The next thing that's just occurred is a crow says pervert. Uh, you're a sick cunt, you're being fucking smashed in said. So I had that smashed in my face, and then a teenage couple, or early 20s, walked past yet again with a buggy, and saying, supposed to look at the appropriate age, and then saying I'll get someone to fucking knife him down, he's a fucking weirdo. So that ends the recording of uh, the sex conspiracy I've made. Right, a crow clearly says, but it's not, it's like this, pervert, just, so I'm not very fucking happy. And also, while passing the bridge, there's like a little track where there's a car that's going down it. This is a red car. Um, it said pen, you know, like what you write with pen, and then mimi, which is spelled M I M M Y. And it's got like love hearts kind of sort of sexual suggestion on the car as well. Right, so they've put a bearded rough type person with a beard, black sunglasses, and uh, skinhead kind of short hair. A uh, rough looking, hard build, about six and a half feet tall, and I've had to be mistaken as Savannah because obviously, with the sun brings these types of people out, you see, and the, and the government want to cause shit or the creator God wants to cause fucking havoc and cause as much fucking problem as he can fucking possibly put in my fucking direction while twisting the fucking weather states against me to fuck up any pictures I want to take. There's also a 20 second cloud cover in the time period that this person passed me to fucking photograph me. Well, I want to mention this because this doesn't happen very often, and I'm not very happy considering I'm known as a sick bastard looking at someone who looks identical to myself at the age of when I was about 32, 33. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I just passed a woman. Uh, smooth skin, sexy looking, so I thought I'd look at her, I thought it's not a problem. And I was looking at her because mostly her detail of her face, she looked almost literally identical to my face of how I looked in a specific picture that was taken in... When, basically when I was about 32-ish, 33. Um, it's one of my profile pictures that's on my Facebook channel. And uh, I'm not saying I fancy myself, but yes, this woman is sexy looking. Um, you know, she has smooth skin, sexy looking face and whatever else. Well, she only passed me, and as I was looking at her, I sort of, sort of smiled slightly, and she nailed me as a sick bastard starting a row with me, saying to up my fucking age. While taking a piss in the woodland, in the sunshine, in an area that's down a farm track, they need to time a loud bike time to an erection, and there's been quite a few of those that have been timed today. 
Right, the man in the, has uh, went to photograph me. He's now coming past in his car, and he's going to be aligned for me to um, to cause trouble. So he needs to photograph me again. He's got his window open. He's ready to photograph, and he's going to pass in shortly. I'll push record on air when he passes. Right, so I've just had a phone call, um, and I've also made a phone call. I just wanted to find out what the weather conditions were, where they are. Well, one person I spoke to, they said it's been rainy and overcast, and they said there's been no sunshine whatsoever all day. And the other person that I've spoken to on the phone says it's been cloudy, very cloudy, with a bit of drizzle at times, and no sunshine. So all the sun is being deliberately put where I am. I managed to get hold of uh, staff at supported housing where I live because there's another person on now. Um, when I spoke to this person on the phone, they said it's been raining and cloudy basically from the time I left to go to where I am at the moment. I'm only five miles down the road to my place. They've had cloud and rain since I left there. Uh, I've been, I've been uh, terrorised with blue skies and sexual sunshine persistently with no more than just 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds of cloud cover and that's all in the time period where that person was starting on me and photographing me. The Sun Brings the Sex Out t-shirt in my direction, believe it or not, and I'm not making that up either. Right, so this, uh, the sun went in just for me to take a picture of the evidence and film the evidence. Straight after the sun's back out again with blue skies. Right, there's no choice in the air too, but to be choked by a catalytic converter. Right, mixed, choked by extreme catalytic converter, black mixed with blue car, black and fucking blue, right, cleaning van. Car turned out a road to smash into me to uh, fucking knock me off. And now a white car, a knife shaped white car in fact. Dog box, pervert, just, pervert, just. And then basically telling me to have sex with someone who raped me as a child. Right, I've had to go into the church. Had to retreat into the church because I miss the bus where they keep fucking about with sexual weather, delaying me, causing me to walk slower. Um, they've signed a specific vehicle and I can't say what the vehicle is because it will offend my father and my father will report it and he'll get very upset about it because uh, it's not making a very good suggestion at all, I can tell you that. Because um, in the past um, he said he's going to report it but they want to make the suggestion of that, they want to rub it in and they want to cause trouble. So that's what's happened just before I came into the church to retreat from the sunshine. Right, so I've got to put up with loud bikes tying to an erection every few seconds. Um, I started walking about in the church because uh, I'm a bit pissed off at just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. And it's also being tied to an itchy bum hole as usual. And every time I walk in the direction of the door where you can see through the glass, oh, black and blue sexual, oh, fucking reputed pieces, oh, wording on vehicles and whatever else. Every single time I change direction, I've done this about 20 times, walking up and down while waiting for the bus. Pina shoots up, go towards the door, bike timed. Right, Crow's telling me I'm a child molester when I've never had sex with children. Nothing I can do about it. The creative's fallen fucking corrupt. Time for fucking belting those fucking drain covers over as times as I walk past to tell me that my life's down the fucking drain. Six cell calls on the bus, live and glory, oversaws and four texts. So all there is to on the bus. Three sneezes and uh, usual set of cars at about 90%. Cell calls at me black sexual, blue timed and extremely hot sunshine.